guys, how you doing today? This is Liz Jo, Director of Clinical Nutrition and Registered Dietitian here at Jackson Purchase Medical Center in Mayfield, Kentucky. Coming at you with another Learning with Liz lesson today. And today I thought we would talk about carbohydrates. Some people like carbs, some people don't like carbs, some people think carbs are bad for you, some people think carbs are okay for you, so I just thought I'd kind of give you what the definition of a carbohydrate is and what it does for our body. And then we're gonna kind of look at some different foods that I have here displayed in front of us to talk about how much carbohydrates are in those foods. Carbohydrates are actually very important for our body. They are our main energy fuel source. Um, to go with the terms of today, they call it, it's a, called a macronutrient. You have macronutrients and you have micronutrients, and that's what we call um, carbohydrates, that they are a macronutrient. And to kind of give you the exact definition of what it is, is it's a naturally occurring compound or a derivative of a compound that's made up of three chemicals. It's made up of carbohydrates, hydrogen, and oxygen. And you know what, our body needs that. It, it is our main energy fuel source for our body. So it's very important that we get carbohydrates every single day. It's very, very important um, that we do that. Um, there's actually three types of carbohydrates. We have, um, one is the sugars, and that's a simple carbohydrate. Um, another one is our starches, which is more of a complex carbohydrate. And fiber is also a carbohydrate, and it's more of a complex carbohydrate. So, like I said, it's, it's very important for our body. Um, some people may need more than other people do. Some people may just need a little bit, of, just depending on what's going on with their body, if they have any kind of health issues. Um, if a person has diabetes, guess what? You still need some carbohydrates, even though some people say, oh, you don't need any carbs. But actually, we do need carbohydrates every single day to make things function in our, in, in our body, for our heart to function and our brain to function, everything to function inside. So let's talk a little bit about how much carbs that we actually find in, in some food. So I have this small can of green beans here, um, and you're actually only getting five grams of carbohydrates in this can, in a half a cup of green beans is a serving size. That would be the same thing as if you were eating, um, say, a half a cup of broccoli, or if you were doing a half a cup of cabbage or carrots. They all have the same amount of carbohydrates in them, and it's a very small amount. They only have five grams. But if you compared it to something like this potato, the potato's gonna have more. It has 15 grams of carbohydrate in that. Um, if you compare that to, say, even a sweet potato or corn, it has more carbohydrates in those foods. So they have, like I said, approximately 15 grams of carbohydrate in, in those foods. Also, something like, say, some oatmeal. Here's a small package of oatmeal. Um, this serving size is one package, so it's about a half to three-fourths of a cup um, once it's cooked. And again, it has around 15 to 18 grams of carbohydrate um, in that. The same thing in with cereal. It has around 15 grams of carbohydrate in, in a serving. This is Cheerios, and it says on here it has 14 grams. So I'll say anywhere from 15 to 18. I love, this is a whole loaf of bread, which is not a serving, but one slice of bread, you're getting like 15 grams of carbohydrate in that. So it's important that we have vegetables and, and these starchy foods to, to get to those carbohydrates that we need. Now let's compare some fruits. Okay, fruit, um, this is just a little cu small cup of some tropical fruit. It's a half a cup and there's 15 grams of carbohydrate in this portion and that's what a portion size would be but that's also the same as eating a small apple. We call it kind of the size of a tennis ball or with a banana um, we say it's like half of a large banana, we call a large banana to be nine inches long, or a small banana, and again, you're getting 15 grams of carb with that. Here's again, here's a half a cup of applesauce. Again, 15 grams of carbohydrate in that. But let's compare some juices. Some people, oh, you can't have juice. Yes, you can have juice. But you just have to watch how much you have of it. In this half a cup of juice, this is some applesauce, you get 15 grams of carbohydrate in that half a cup. 
but here's a larger container of orange juice and in this orange juice let's see our serving size that's listed in here this is 12 ounces so in that 12 ounces there's 40 grams of carbohydrate in that so that's that's a lot if we had a half a cup again we would go back to that 15 grams of carbohydrate so it's called portion size is what we need to do with that as i said carbohydrates are very important to us they give us energy it's our as i said it's our main energy fuel source our brain's got to have it every day our heart's got to have it every day other functions in the body and it's got to have carbohydrates but we don't only just need carbs or just don't only need protein and don't only just need fat so it's important that we balance things out so this week like i said we're talking about carbohydrates next week i'm actually going to go over talking about protein another macronutrient and then we'll talk about fats the, the following week so if you have any questions please put it on our facebook um, site we'd be glad to answer any of those questions or topics that you guys might would like for me to to talk about so hope you have a great day and thanks for listening bye